Hello everyone, welcome back to our sessions. Today we'll be discussing about uh, Tipco Spotfire, which is a data visualization tool. And in one of my last session and last video, we discussed about how to get the all option. So this was another uh, important feature which we normally use in our day-to-day -day activities, in our regular projects. Uh, okay, in that like we have an option of all. Uh, many of you might have used uh, 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 none, op none as an option, but this is not using none option. Also, like for none option, what we have, we have to use a JavaScript code, which works sometimes and sometimes it may not work. So people uh, tend to have this none as an option and people, uh, users won't like it. So this thing I have, I have explained in detail in my one of the previous sessions, which you can see it here on the IE button. You can check it out and learn about how to uh, create a uh, all option and that is one of the best way of doing the things uh, very neatly okay and i was getting a lot of responses regarding uh, another option another uh, cascading filter where uh, based on these filter my next filters will be working so i have created this recently and uh, i wanted to share it with you so here what will happen we have region and we have state we have any other like this we can keep on creating it uh, as 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 per our requirement so now what will happen i have just created but i'll explain you in detail if you see here i have region and this is already in the working shape so here uh, you can see that i have all it means i can see all the regions and then I can see all as an option here. It is not showing me all states, but it is showing me all as an option. It means I'm getting data. I'm getting data for all the all the uh, regions and their states, which you can see it here. So chair and chair mass is having 1.16 million, and uh, office machines is having 1.22 million. Okay, so this is for all the uh, states. My requirement was to, or you people were asking about uh, how we can have this as a cascading filter. Now, let's say if I have all, I want to see, okay, central. So as soon as I click on central, this whole data is for central state. Even I have used a document property in the title header. If you see it here, so this is showing me sales per product subcategory for central region and all the states of central region. Now, under a particular state, I want to see the results. Now, if you see this drop down, it's showing me all the states of central region. It's not earlier it was showing me all because all states were selected. Okay, data was coming for all the states. But here, now it is showing me states only for central region. If I select east, if you see, immediately this whole chart changes to east region and all the states of east come up comes up here. Now let's say I want to see Maryland. Okay, I'll see the data for Maryland. So as soon as I select something, the relevant data will populate for that particular state. So here for Maryland, highest sales is coming from our tables, which is around 34.97, almost $35,000. So this way I can see it very clearly and I want to see all data. I can click on all and this data is for all the states of East region. Now I want to see South. Okay, so if you see this whole thing is for South region, all state. I want to see a particular state, let's say Georgia. Okay, so here Georgia. So these numbers are only for Georgia. So this is one of the cascading thing which I have done here. And uh, just for you, you can use it uh, in all your dashboards, all your reports. And it's a very wonderful functionality. Uh, it's been a long time. People were asking it. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I was quite occupied in other things. So I couldn't make the video earlier. But uh, now since you were asking in last few days, so I have to create that. Like this, I will keep on bringing a lot of things. If you can uh, help me out by subscribing to this channel and sharing with your friends, your colleagues, so that it will help me to, uh, and it will motivate me to bring up new things again and again, and that too uh, very quickly. So I have a, just a small request uh, uh, on this. And so let's check out how this is done. Okay, so for that, I'll go to the previous version of my existing working solution for only for straight re uh, as a reason here if you see this now what i have done i have just created another property okay so i have created another property before that what i have to do i have to create a small calculation just a single line of calculation which will help me out to get all the all the states and based on whatever value we select accordingly it will show me that so here what i have to do i have to just uh, create a small calculation which I will show you here. Okay, so I can go to my column properties. I have just created a single calculation. That's all, nothing else. So this is the calculation which I have created. I'll just copy it from here. Okay, I'll copy it from here and I'll just uh, explain it to you here. So now let's say I'll need to create a calculated column. So I have just created 
a new calculated column okay i just created this calculated so what i'm doing here is very pretty uh, straightforward thing that whatever region i'm selecting here in this particular uh, drop down which is a document property whatever region i'm selecting here if that matches with my region column region is a column you we know that okay if that matches with the region column then give me the state and provinces then give me state and province which is exact uh, exactly a column in my data set so then give me the uh, state or province a else give me all as an option so don't give me none none value or something empty or not no i don't want to see that i want to show it as a all option so that's what i have to do here i'll just name it as state okay so this is since it is external data so you, you will not get a preview you can do it with external data or import data it's your choice like that doesn't matter okay uh, since i am using a sql connection here so that's the reason i have done this way it's of uh, no issue so you can use either way okay now what i have to do i have created a state column so what i need to do i just need to uh, create a new drop down so which will be state okay i'll say select state okay select state and i'll create a drop down so i have to create a property controls if you do not know how to create property controls for on that also i have created a a video which you can refer so check it out so i'll say drop down and uh, i have a state as already a property let's say if, if you want to use uh, uh, since i have already created that's the reason it, it is coming for me uh, if it is not there you have to just create a new property i'll just name it as state okay i'll name it as state let me just uh, delete this so that you can get it clean so now i'll just create a state that's all I have to create a state as a property. It will be string. You can put some description or you can keep it as null. That's fine. Okay. Now under this, I'll say unique values in a column because I have to select those values which are part of the particular column which I have created. State column as a, the one which I have created. So it will be under orders table. And here is this column which I have selected here. If you see, it is just showing me all because all is selected in the region document property. So I'll say okay okay here i have this i'll save this and here you will get so region all it is showing me all now i'll just close this window here this is the text area so we were in the edit mode for text area now if you see here central region it is showing me uh, okay the central data uh, if i select a particular state it is not working because i have not linked this state property with this particular uh, selection here so what i need to do i need to do the same thing so what for that i'll go to my uh, chart and limit data using expression limit data using expression so the one which i have to use is this one so i have to use not this one i'll copy it from here so uh, here you can just uh, i've already done this thing so one is for state one is for property so uh, one one is for region that is what you have to do so here just come up here and uh, here you can see it's the same thing the one which i have done earlier for region it's the same thing exactly same way so if region is equal to all then give me region is equal to region else give me whatever region is selected okay region is equal to region means all the regions will be shown if state i'm doing the same thing if state is all then give me all the states data else give me the particular state data whatever is selected in the drop down that's all it is a limitation so you don't have to apply the filters for other options the way we used to do the normal uh, option cascading you don't have to do that way so in that case what happens if someone uh, clicks on reset filters or reset all filters your filtering will be uh, stopped okay so it will not work not be working so that solution will not work in that case if someone resets the filter but in this case there is no issue at all it is 100% going to work no issues in this now if you see it is showing me all the data for central region i want to see for nebraska here it is so very quickly you got this cascading filters yes uh, this thing like will trouble you sometimes initially but it will not work uh, it will not give you problem again so here you see now uh, what you have to do yeah, you will see this kind of uh, uh, dash dash thing because property is lost Okay, property is lost. So in this case, what you can do, you can use a small uh, RM Python script. With what it will do, it will just whenever you go to all, it will automatically enable it as fix the value as all. So you don't have to worry about that thing. That also can be fixed with RM Python script, single line of code, nothing else. Okay, so here you see that you have east, 
you got all the states of east you got south you got all the states of south you got west you got all the states of west so nevada here you see you got all this information you want to see all all data we can fix it that thing okay so here you see all the data is coming up so this is a one other another way now you have to bring up if you want to see this thing in the title header just add the properties okay so here you can say for which region you want this data okay for this region okay and you want to see state so you can just type it down whatever you want so here you see sales for products of category for all and all so all region and all you can put it here you can bring it up here like this so region and all state so you can just write it down this way okay so this way now what will happen if you select a particular uh, see east region and all state i don't want all state i want to see district of columbia so here you see or and district of columbia state so this is one of the wonderful way which i wanted to share with you and uh, i hope you might have liked it uh, this is cascading filters like this you can expand it to any label and uh, any kind of label you can expand it from state region to state city category products sub category sub products and so on you can expand it as per your requirement whatever you want so this cascading filter is one of the very useful feature which i do use in almost most of my reports wherever i you have this kind of requirement you can just save this and here it is so it's a working solution in front of you you can use it let me know if you have liked it please uh, do share it with your friends and colleagues if you have liked it please like and share this video with with everyone and help me out in that thank you very much have a great day